All right, I'm gonna quickly go over this Mojack HDL mower jack. And basically it's a hydraulic, has a hydraulic bottle jack um, that you use to pump and uh, lift up the mower. This is only rated for 500 pounds, but you know, I've got a 1300 pound John Deere Z960M commercial mower here. But um, the front of the mower, you know, you're obviously not lifting the full weight. And uh, the only thing I'm going to use this for is to just easily and safely lift the front of the mower so then I can put the um, three ton um, jack stands underneath the deck and then lower back onto the jack stands and uh, also put a little pressure back on it with the, the mo jack here. So basically they sell these at Home Depot and other places I would assume. Um, it was $179.99 right now. Um, seemed to be about $20 off right now so a little under $200 and um, very happy with it. It does work very well. Seems to be built more than sturdy enough for what I'm using it for and obviously as you get higher the weight of the mower shifts to the back so the higher you go you're actually you end up with less weight that you're having to lift with um, the Mojack anyway. They do make a much uh, beefier version, stronger version than this one and um, you know I would prefer to have that one but for what I'm doing what I need. Um, this, is, you know, it really does a job for me and uh, there's no issue with it. Um, you know, the arms here are not in any way um, sagging or looking like they're going to bend or anything. Uh, there's still two holes left here in these. Uh, I'll get the camera closer here in a minute, but um, these arms extend out. There's still two more holes. It's about two inches left of the post that goes into the beam here. Um, so they also include these straps, so basically the straps go around to the back. So you have these hooks on the front and back and uh, you just bring the strap forward. You can easily release it and then get it off of there. So the idea is you uh, drive it up onto these lifting arms, strap it in. Um, of course you'd want to adjust your arms where you need them. And uh, then you've got, you've got this handle, it's really just these pieces here. So it folds up flat if you need to hang it up somewhere. Uh, so you have the jack itself, this handle to pump the bottle jack, and like I said, I'll get the camera closer and go over that in a minute. Um, so if you're familiar with the bottle jack, you basically twist it, you know, counterclockwise to loosen it to lower it, and uh, clockwise to tighten it until, you know, it's tight, and at that point you can pump it up um, the bottom of the uh, handle here is notched. So it has, um, that's where you use that to um, lock or unlock the uh, bottle jack. So you just stick it in the hole. I'll just go up with it real quick. It is easy to pump. So we'll just take it up as high as it'll go. Now if you look down here, these arms, they do have three notches in it. You have to get to a certain point. Right here is the pin. Uh, once you get to a certain point, it'll drop into those notches, kind of a safety if the bottle jack were ever to fail. Uh, but until you get further up, I'll tell you when it's at that point. So if you were to stop here, um, I wouldn't get under here anyway without a bottle or uh, jack stand under there. So use some common sense and uh, don't get yourself killed because it's or severely injured. It's really not worth it. You know they always say safety first, and it's just a big cliche, but. Um, I don't know about you, but I, I really don't want to be trapped under a 1300 pound mower. So let's go up until we get to that point. I don't think it's there yet. I think it, if it were me, I think they should put some notches further back. There it goes. There's the first safety. So just to show you, now that I've stopped pumping it, I'll release it. And so now it's, it's released and the, um, these safety arms here is what's holding it. So let me go ahead and lock the bottle jack again, tighten that up, pump it up a little bit more. And just go all the way up. And this is way more than enough room you'd need. Um, I don't even know if my jack stands would go that high. I wouldn't really need it this high for cleaning or taking off the blades with an impact, um, impact wrench there. So <clears throat> I've got a cordless impact and impact. And if I don't get it high enough, then you know the the, it just doesn't fit under there. 
let's go there. I think that's the, I believe that's the last one. So yeah, that's, that's way more than high enough. And um, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm looking at these arms and they're really not sagging at all. This is um, the tube steel here on the end of the, for these arms. I don't think it's solid, but it's more than more than solid enough for what we need here. So I don't really think it would go anywhere, but like I said, um, I would definitely not get under here without lowering it down to some jack stands. So right here is the release. There's a big sign on there, step down to release. So basically you're just popping it up off of those off of those catches there. <clears throat> and you'll notice when I release it here, the other nice thing about this is if you're familiar with the hydraulic jack and you release it, you know, um, you know, like a floor jack and you're pumping, jacking up a car and you release the pressure on, you know, you release the uh, hydraulic so it'll lower down. If you do it all the way, if you just really, you know, release it, uh, you know, a, a good half a screw or whatever more, it'll just fly right down and slam on the ground. But this one, if you watch here, I'm going to hold that down and release it. And that's you see how slow it goes down, so it's a nice gradual, gradual drop. Drop. It's not going to uh, immediately slam down on you. So that's that. Let me go ahead and tighten this back up for the next time. So that's ready for the next time. I'll put the handle out of the way and um, just take the camera off of the tripod here, so we get a little closer look here. So this is the bottle jack. So you've got the um, the release here, you know, to uh, release the pressure or lock it, so you can pump it. The uh, handle goes here. Here's the uh, the release that you would step down on to get it off the safety safety catch. Again, you can see that here, where those notches are. And um, so here are the arms. Like I said, there's probably I think there's two more holes back in here. Um, I'm extended out just about as far as I think you should ever go with it. There's five holes on each side, on each arm, still uh, exposed there. And I think this is probably about as big as you would ever use this uh, mower here. This is, like I said, this is a full-blown commercial mower with a 60-inch deck. And um, probably pushing it as far as this being... The appropriate size Mojack for this. I would rather have the larger one, but as you can see, you know, lifting it up, it, it's really easy and it doesn't seem to strain. And the arms are not um, bent over or anything like that. It doesn't seem to be any issue at all. So, for my purpose, I'm just going to jack it up and uh, stick the jack stands under it. Immediately lower it back down on the jack stands, and we'll be good to go. So, let's get a little quick look at the label there. Yeah, that's about it. Let's uh, let's show you the back side of these. The only thing I'd say about these is that I don't know if when you go to drive up on here, because it you can't lift the mower obviously by yourself to slide these under here. Um, you know this end piece is welded on, so you can't slip it in from the other side. So your only option is to jack it up a little bit with something else, which is what I'm going to do. I've got a you know, one of those high lift type jacks, which I stopped using after I got this, and uh, just put it here, jack it up just a little bit, and slide my jack under there, the Mo Jack. But you know, I'm kind of wondering if this this um, piece back here that the strap goes on, if that will get bent when I drive over it, because I need to drive up and on it. And actually, um, well. Like I said, I'm not going to jack it up or, or drive it onto it. I'm going to jack it up. So um, I'll use this, uh, the uh, instrument of death over here. The They refer to them as a farm jack. You know, you see those at Tractor Supply. Um, 
but uh, it's you know it's like a high lift I think was a company that originally made those and um, even when you use them right uh, they still seem really really uh, precarious because it's dropped down on me unexpectedly twice or maybe three times as I was lowering it and um, I was like okay that's it I'm done with that thing um, like I said I don't get under it with only that supporting it anyway I use the jack stands but um, if it falls unexpectedly and you're not you know maybe you've got your foot under the tire you know when it falls or um, anything like that it just it, obviously you don't want to damage the mower either with it slamming it down on the ground but so that's it for the Mojack HDL and uh, I would highly recommend it if you need something to safely lift your mower and uh, it, you know even like I said if you look I mean this is a uh, full-blown commercial John Deere zero turn and uh, there's no issue at all raising it up with that and uh, again I'm just lifting up just for a few seconds sticking the jack stands under it immediately and then releasing the pressure from it so you know it really should last me forever and I probably only need to raise it up maybe 20-25 times a year if that so that uh, should do it for me alright well thanks for watching goodbye